Mitsubishi's second delay of its Outlander plug-in hybrid flagship is the latest woe for the embattled automaker as it grapples with the brand's continued atrophy in the marketplace, including but not limited to a regulatory scandal, a high-profile resignation, and the discontinuation of its Lancer Evolution Halo car. That leaves the conventional Outlander crossover as the high point in a lineup sprouting from the lowly Mirage subcompact. Like the Mirage, the Outlander has been updated for 2016, and while it promises value with seven seats for a relatively low price, it neither impresses nor excites. Other than a newly bedazzled snout, the 2016 Outlander is pretty much the same as the 2015 version, apart from some upgraded plastics in the cabin, a few chassis refinements, and several other minor tweaks. It's cheaper, too, with window stickers starting a couple of hundred bucks less than the car cost last year. But this is a familiar vehicle, one that we summed up in our test of a 2014 model with Met. Not an Evo. Whereas the 2014 review was of the top spec GT trim powered by a Coors 224 HP 3.0 liter V6 and a 6 speed automatic transmission, for this test we sampled the one rung down cell model with a 166 HP 2.4 liter 4 cylinder. A continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, manages the 2.4s small corral of ponies as well as its modest 162 lbft of torque. Our test car also featured Mitsubishi's $2,000 all-wheel drive system, branded Super All-Wheel Control SOC, to describe its offering of four settings for the front limited slip differential, the coupler engaging drive at the rear axle, and the operation of the brakes which regulate the front axle torque split. It's a version of the AWD system found in the rally-inspired, and no longer available, Lancer Evolution X. That's as deep as performance connotations go with this vehicle. Despite a relatively tidy curb weight of 3,668 pounds, the combination of modest power and a fun-sucking CVT make the Outlander 2.4 dynamically challenged. The saunter to 60 miles per hour takes 9.3 seconds on the way to a 17.3 second quarter mile at 83 miles per hour. Standard 18-inch wheels with 255-55 Toyo A24 all-season tires returned a ho-hum 180-foot stop from 70 miles per hour and clung to our skid pad with just 0.74 g of lateral grip. Within its compact crossover competitive set, this Mitsubishi is slower and less capable on the road than virtually all of its rivals. Our observed real-world fuel economy of 24 mpg was decent considering how frequently we mashed the Outlander's throttle pedal, yet it's still below the EPA combined rating of 26 mpg. Our test car was more agreeable at a relaxed gait, but it could still frustrate with too much body motion in corners and insufficient suspension damping over rough pavement. The electrically assisted steering feels lifeless and increases little in effort as speeds and cornering forces rise, making the Outlander easy to park but busy on the highway. Although we never worried about pulling out into quick moving traffic, the 2.4 isn't the smoothest of four bangers, nor does it ever feel like it has much reserve thrust. While V6, powered Outlanders feature column-mounted paddles for controlling gear changes, the 2.4 SCVT offers no such manual capability, instead, the engine just drones in the background, with a notable rubber band effect that causes revs to rise and fall out of sync with the vehicle's forward motion. Dropping the shifter into the S position keeps engine speeds higher for quicker throttle response but with no perceptible change in performance. Toggling the echo button on the Mitsu's dash has the opposite effect, lazy throttle response combined with increased resistance from the accelerator, which is the last thing you want when trying to merge onto the highway. Blue Light Special The Outlander's three rows of seats stand out in the compact class, and they may seemingly make it a wieldier alternative to larger crossovers such as the Dodge Durango and the Ford Explorer. Yet the cabin is narrow, headroom is limited, and Mitsubishi's rearmost chairs are only slightly more accommodating than the rear jump seats in a Porsche 911. In practice, the Outlander is similar in size and packaging to the five-seat Honda CR-V or Toyota RAV4. The Outlander's 60-40th split folding second row is easy to flip and fold, 
resulting in a big, flat load floor with additional storage underneath, yet it lacks a recline feature, and the bottom cushions are too short for lankier occupants. What's more, there are no HVAC vents in the rear of the center console or any power outlets of any kind behind the front seats. The 2016 Outlander's interior refresh makes it a slightly more pleasant place to pass the miles, with nicer fabrics and plastics and notably less noise inside than the previous GT model we tested. It's now only about one design generation behind segment stalwarts such as the Mazda CX-5 and the Ford Escape. Most drivers found it easy to get comfy, although some wished for greater reach from the telescoping steering column and better support from the front seats. The overall execution is basic, if easy to use, with a small color readout in the cluster and a fairly intuitive 6.1-inch touchscreen center display. That head unit, however, smacks of aftermarket feel, reinforced by the optional Rockford Fosgate audio system advertised on the door panels. The ES model comes decently equipped at a relatively low starting point of $23,890, and incentive offers can lower the price even further. Our Cell SOC test car, however, started at a not insignificant $27,890, which includes basic amenities such as heated exterior mirrors, leather seating with 8-way power driver's adjustment, dual-zone automatic climate control, a USB port and two 12-volt outlets, hands-free connectivity with steering wheel controls, a rear-view camera, and a host of airbags. The only option on our example was the sizable $5,250 cell touring package, which netted the 710-watt Rockford Fosgate audio system as well as navigation, satellite radio, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, forward collision mitigation, a power liftgate and sunroof, and rain-sensing wipers. Grand total, $33,140, or about the same as a fully loaded version of our current pick of compact crossovers, the Mazda CX-5. While bargain shoppers may find sweetness in the Outlander's offering, few others will. Its pricing overlaps more practical three-row SUVs that start around $30,000, and it is outclassed, outperformed, and outcontented by its compact crossover peers. Facing such capable competition, this barely adequate outlander isn't about to write Mitsubishi's listing ship.